Portland Sports Arena. This is Portland Wrestling. Portland Wrestling is brought to you by Tom Peterson's with two great stores to serve you, both at Southeast 82nd and Foster Road. And also brought to you by the four Jim Fisher Used Car Centers. Wherever you are in Portland, there's a Jim Fisher Used Car Center near you. Everybody, I'm Don Cox, your host for Portland Wrestling, along with my partner, Stan, the man Stasiak, the man who does all the work around here, really. <laughs> you think so, Don? <laughs> sure. Anyway, uh, we got a tremendous card tonight. We got three big matches, including a championship main event match between Kurt Henning and Rip Oliver, and we got some great news, fans, uh, about Roddy Piper, about Hacksaw Sawyer, and we can go on and on and on. So stay tuned. Don't go away because we're going to be here to tell you all about it. Uh, we got the news. We got the interviews. We'll have all the action right after this timeout. Customers drive from all over the Northwest to buy at Tom Peterson's. In the first hour today, people are in bought from Newport, Milwaukee, Estacada, Camby, Portland, Hillsboro, Sandy, Cascade Locks, Oregon City, and McMinnville. I want to take you out in the showroom floor and show you why people drive the extra mile to buy at Tom Peterson's. Refrigerators at Tom Peterson's, we've got them. Over 40 on display. All the brands, great brand names that you're familiar with. Prices, everyday low price, $299. Washers and dryers at Tom Peterson's, we've got them. Over 100 on display. Great brand names. Five top brands for you to choose from. Prices, we've got that too. Everyday low price, washer $2.99, dryer $1.99. Ranges at Tom Peterson's, we've got them. Over 50 on display. Five great brand names. Microwaves at Tom Peterson's, we've got them. Five great brand names. Over 100 on display. No department store, no appliance store, no microwave specialist shows a mass display like this. Recliners, we've got them at Tom Peterson. Over 100 on display. Largest display in the city of Portland. That's why we sell more than any other store. Sofas and love seats, we have them. Over 100 on display. Prices begin at only $3.98. And there's only one place to buy, and that's Tom Peterson's. Right. Nobody gets to be champ without plenty of team support. I don't mean go, team, go. U.S. athletes need more than cheers for the 84 Summer Games. They need you to purchase Olympic coins. The coins give them financial support, and you get valuable keepsakes. And with the right support, an athlete can reach any goal. Turn precious metal into Olympic medals. Support the home team. We're getting ready for our first bout tonight on this Saturday night. A good, uh, good crowd out there, Dan. Boy, there's, there is going to be action. There's going to be kicking. There's going to be screaming and gouging and body slams and arm bars. And that's just out in the crowd. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doc. Well, here we see Matt Bourne making his way into the ring. Hey, he got himself a brand new robe, didn't he? And here comes Don Owen and uh, Sandy Barr making his way into the ring also. Lefty Sandy Barr, NWA official. Don just flew back from the East Coast. We'll Good evening, about ladies that. and gentlemen. While we're waiting for Mr. Bourne's opponent, uh, I went to announce that I've went to a great deal of trouble to fly in Roddy Piper for one week and also Hack Sawyer in the middle of March. So we're going to have a tremendous card there that week. The first event this evening will be one fall. Introducing an S corner, 238 pounds from Tennessee, Doug Summers. His opponent in this corner, 240 pounds from Milwaukee, Matt Bourne. The referee, Sandy Barr. Yes, and what a what a match this is going to be, I'm sure. Uh, Doug Summers, uh, like I mentioned in previous weeks, kind of underrated. Uh, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, he is uh, as tough as any of them. Uh, 
He can dish out a lot of uh, abuse and he can take a lot of abuse. And Matt Bourne, of course, from uh, Milwaukee, Oregon, the son of the great tough Tony Bourne, had a kind of a change of ways lately and all of a sudden has become a very, very popular figure in professional wrestling here in Pacific Northwest. Yes, he certainly has. And if you were watching last week, you saw Matt Bourne with his uh, dad, tough Tony Bourne. You saw the fireworks that exploded right here in the crow's nest when Rip Oliver came on the scene. And now, uh, even before the bell, Sandy Barr and Doug Summers got into it. And Matt Bourne wastes no time. He goes after the big man from uh, Oklahoma. Here comes a whip and whips him into the turnbuckle. No. And rams the left to the stomach of Summers. <laughs> <laughs> well, the stomach of Summers. Now he's going to beg for a little mercy. Now I don't know if Matt Bourne feels like uh, giving mercy. Other than uh, something like mercy. What a shot that was to the jaw. And what news that is. Roddy, Rowdy Roddy Piper and Hacksaw Sawyer coming in in March. March 17th, I think, is the day. You want to write that down. And Don Owen went through uh, great lengths to sign up these two. Both extremely popular in the Pacific Northwest and both absent for quite a, quite a while. And what a welcome. What a welcome that will be. Doug Summers, in the meantime, decides to take a walk. Well, he doesn't want a taste of his own medicine. That's the problem. He popped uh, Matt Bourne pretty good right in the mouth. Uh, kind of Al Madrill style. And uh, oh, Matt Bourne was ready to uh, do likewise. And Mr. Summers bailed out of there for a little bit. Yeah, that is great news, Stan. Man, oh, man. March 17th. Rowdy Roddy Piper and Hacksaw Sawyer. The two gladiators lock up, and now Doug Summers. Look like this. That's, oh, he boy, blocked it. Matt Bourne, and Matt gives him a dose of his own medicine. Yeah. Well, Bourne blocked that uh, shot that Summers was going to give to uh, Bourne's face and came back with one of his own to Summers' face. dragged by the big man from uh, Muskogee, Oklahoma. Muskogee, is that where he's from? That's that's where he's from. It's amazing how you know where all these guys are from. Right? Low Ranger, Louisiana, Muskogee, Oklahoma. Oh, right on top of the... Oh, look. Oh, and Matt, Matt Bourne's head is cut open again. Yeah. That's an old wound. And uh, Doug Summers wastes no time to capitalize. Matt fighting back. Oh, boy, misses with it. Yeah. Uh, Doug Summers continues to work on that wound on Matt Bourne's head into and the rams his head into the turnbuckle. Uh, what's he going to do? He's going to bite He's fighting away thing. now. Hey, I'll tell you, Don, this Summers is, is not to be underestimated or taken for granted. Matt Bourne now coming back. A hard left. And oh, a reversal by Doug Summers. Oh, oh, and nails Matt right to the head. Cut him right on top of the forehead. Well, right where that cut is. Well, Summers going to work on that forehead. This Summers a mean individual. Oh, man, this stomps right down there. Good on Georgia, kicking, gouging, biting, stomping. Well, Summers wants to show him off to the camera. He's fighting some more. Now, what's the purpose of that, other than just to open up that cut? Well, like I said, Don, he's a mean individual, and he's like a like an animal. He, he spots a weak spot, which in this case is a a bad gash that Matt Bourne received at the hands of Rip Oliver in recent weeks. And uh, of course, uh, Doug Summers would love. To get a win over uh, Doug Summers now. Bourne coming back now. The left hand, a right hand, another left hand. Oh, a hard left. Down. 
Goes the big man from Muskogee. Another hard left. Flying there by Matt Bourne. Boom. And Matt Bourne drops a foot right on the side of the head. Doing a little stopping. And the fans approve. A little stopping Matt Bourne style. There's another left boot. Uh, low blow by Doug Summers. That uh, Sandy Barr did not see. Well, Summer's going to try to line Bourne up again. He smashes him with the right hand. Really work on that cut on his forehead. Here comes a body slam. Hard body slam. Drops an elbow. He's going to go for the pin now. Gets a two count. Reverse headlock. And now the fan. Yeah, that fan power. Yeah, that fan power. They're yet chanting, we want Matt. And oh, how that helps. Look at him. He's still biting. We got a full moon out there tonight. This guy's turning into a vampire or something. Doug Summers against Matt Bourne. There's a right hand right in the bread basket. A shot right to the eye. Matt Bourne, an eye gouge now. Oh, a drop oh. kick by Matt Bourne. Another oh, one. Matt. Well, oh. Oh, he really nailed him on that one. Boy, did he get him that time. Yeah, you could hear that up here. There's a left hand. Here comes another one. Oh, and outside he goes. Over the top rope onto the concrete floor goes Doug Summers. Oh. And the fans just love it. Like a Benny big... Barr counting. He's got a 20 count on the floor. It's like a big tree coming down, Sam. Oh, and Matt Bourne rams Doug Summers' head to the apron of the ring. That felt so good to Matt. He may want to do it again. He's going to drag him into the ring. He does. He's uh, going suplex. through the suplex. Yeah. Oh, strong suplex. This could be it. No. It's another two count. Front face lock by Matt Bourne. Boy, what battles Matt Bourne and Rip Oliver have had lately. Yeah, Bourne wants Oliver again next Saturday night, but uh, that, that hasn't been signed. He says he's not through. Oh, Doug Summers. Summers now working away at Matt Bourne's midsection. Sandy Barr watching closely. Now Matt Bourne starting to bite. Yeah, he said, if you put the bite on me, I'm going to bite you back. Oh, there's a staggering shot. Reverse headlock by Matt Bourne now. Well, Summers had a hold of the hair. Sandy Barr broke that up. So, oh, oh, and he stretches the mouth of Matt Bourne. Oh, man, it makes my mouth hurt. There's another right hand. Matt Bourne now Summers. taking some punishment. Yeah, he sure Still is. on his feet, but in a day. Duck, oh. suplex, and a wrestler's blood. What a move by Matt Bourne. We got the fall. He's got it. Matt Bourne is the winner of this first match in sensational manner. But here comes Doug Summers. He's going to continue to pummel away. Oh, you can't turn it's your back late, on. But Matt Bourne is taking abuse right now. Sandy Barr is going to muscle the big man from Oklahoma now. And there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Bowen. What a fall that was. All right. Well, you saw that kind of action. You're going to see more action like that all week long, which reminds us it's time for the menu board, uh, Stan. <laughs> Starting tomorrow on our professional wrestling calendar, we're going to be in Forest Grove tomorrow at the Tom McCall High School. Monday, we're going to be in Prineville at Crooked River Grade School. Then Tuesday, we'll be in Klamath Falls at the OIT gym. Stand Megan. Wednesday night at the Medford Armory in Medford. Mr. Elton Owen, a tremendous card there. Thursday night, Salem, Sprague High School. That is Sprague High School in Salem. And then 
Friday night, no wrestling in Eugene, but in Coos Bay at the Marshfield High School. And then, of course, next Saturday, right back here to the Portland Sports Arena. And we'll be right back here right after this. Don't go away. Wherever you are in Portland, there's a Jim Fisher used car center near you. Choose from more than 300 quality used cars. Here are some examples of bargains at Jim Fisher Volvo. Here's an example of economical transportation, a 1975 Opel 1900, four-cylinder, four-speed AM FM radio. It's clean as a whistle and only has 54,000 miles. Yours for just 1945. Look at this great little car, an 80 Mazda GLC five-speed with AM FM cassette and only 39,000 miles. Drive away in style for just 3260. It's right here at the Portland Sports Arena. Stan with his magic microphone. Magic microphone, here it goes. Sunday, tomorrow, February the 19th at Forest Grove at Tom McCall High School. Monday the 20th, Prineville, Oregon, Crooked River Grade School. Tuesday, Klamath Falls, a big car there. O, o what is it, OIT o Gym? OIT Gym, right. Uh, in Klamath Falls. And then Wednesday at the Medford Armory, Mr. Elton Owen, a great car there. And Thursday night, Salem, Sprague High School, Sandy Bar, a great card there. Friday night, Coos Bay, Oregon at the Marshfield High School. And then, of course, next Saturday night, like every Saturday night, right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. And then Sunday the 26th, Vancouver, Washington, Clark College, Jim. Coming up. Oh, and don't forget, get your tickets early at Sandy Bar's Flea Market every Sunday here at the Sports Arena and on 146th and Southeast Start. Right, and coming up on uh, Tuesday night, February 28th, we're going to be at the Albany Boys Club with a big card there. Don't want to forget that. And uh, just to know, one more reminder, Stan, about tomorrow at Tom McCall High School in Forest Grove and Monday, Pineville, Crooked River Great School. It's going to be good cards, strong cards. When professional wrestling comes to your town, take it in and uh, see a new dimension in wrestling. It's very exciting. We'll be right back with a lot more excitement right after this time out. Save $50 on this 19-inch Zenith colored television, only $2.99, with these great Zenith features. 100% solid state, sharpness control, automatic fine-tuning, all this Zenith quality, and only $299. With no interest, no payments till May, pay with your tax refund. Don't delay. Buy today. That's Tom Peterson. Yum, 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 yum. That's what everybody says about Kentucky Fried Chicken's Feast for Four. Yum, yum, yum. It's less than two twenty-five a person for nine big pieces of our original recipe chicken. Yum, yum. Fresh coleslaw, potatoes and gravy, and four buttermilk biscuits. Yum. Feast for four, less than two twenty-five a person. Kentucky Fried Chicken, they do chicken right. Yum. Less than two twenty-five a person. Even college professors who teach their students good health learn something new every day. Look what the makers of Alarest have done. They've created new Alarest sinus pain formula. It relieves allergies and sinus pain in one maximum strength aspirin-free sinus pain medicine. This new formula is so well thought out. It erases allergy symptoms, congestion, and agonizing sinus pain. New Alarest Sinus Pain Formula erases allergies and sinus pain. See what no man has seen for almost 200 years. History untouched until Jacques Cousteau and his crew explore the incredible passageway between the United States and Canada. We live the oldest voyages of man. Discover a graveyard of ships and the Edmund Fitzgerald that disappeared with all hands. Experience the gripping winter that abandoned the Calypso to the mercy of nature. Share the beauty and treachery of the stairway to the sea. Monday night at 8 on TV 12. Here we go. If you tuned in late, our first match tonight, Doug Summers and Matt Bourne. Matt Bourne victorious over Doug Summers. And this is our second match. This should be a good one, Stan. Tom Pritchard and Jimmy Offey. Oh, yes. This should be a, a, a real scientific wrestling match. Two good wrestlers. Here comes Don Owen to tell us all about it. Gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner 235 pounds from Hawaii, Jimmy Offie. 
his opponent in this corner, 210 pounds from Houston, Texas, Tom Pritchard. Don, I want to take this opportunity to say how grateful I am to all the wrestling fans that have come to see me where I work. And uh, it's so nice not only to meet the wrestling fans, but uh, to get to know them personally. And it's quite a thrill for me. Well, you already know that they're super people, greatest people in the world. And, uh, you know, they, they're going to seek you out, Stan. You bet. They already have. Because you've been good to them, too. I appreciate <laughs> it. And this match is underway. Jimmy Offey from Honolulu, Hawaii, against the young man from Houston, Texas, Tommy Pritchard. Extremely fast, extremely scientific. Uh, master in the martial arts. Uh, Jimmy Offey, uh, a connoisseur of the martial arts himself. But I foresee a clean match. Both wrestlers, extremely scientific. Great athletes. You, know, you see action just like that. Boy, this Tommy Pritchard is something else. Fast as lightning. Fine, personable young man. He is a nice guy. Yes, he is. A fine young man. Jimmy Offey now. Went for a leg dive. Takes Tommy Pritchard down. Tommy Pritchard on his hands and knees. Jimmy Offey a side, goes for a side headlock. Oh, and a reversal, a beautiful reversal by Tommy Pritchard into a hammerlock. Got Jimmy Offey down to the mat. Sandy Barr watching closely. Lefty Sandy Barr. Had a phone call from Billy Jack last uh, Sunday. Uh, doing extremely well. Still undefeated on the Eastern Seaboard. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, I'm <laughs> proud of him. Yeah. Conveys his uh, regards and love to all the Pacific Northwest. And now a uh, hammerlock. And a combination arm bar by Tommy Pritchard. Ooh. Oh, I thought that would be a pin there. That was very close. close. Jimmy Offey having to use every ounce of strength he has. Oh, he's got lots of ounces there. You bet. You know, both these uh, men, Tommy Pritchard and Jimmy Offey, were at that remote broadcast uh, KRDR had at uh, Jubas. And I was so impressed with both these guys. Uh, and off he's got a heck of a sense of humor. He's, yes, he does. Yeah, he's, oh, he's a great guy. He sure is. And what a nice time uh, we had, Don. Uh, that was the greatest thing, probably one of the greatest things I could have ever uh, experienced. I was so happy and proud to be part of it. Uh, we, uh, we just can't express our gratitude to you and uh, the guys that, that helped us out with that. It was marvelous. An arm bar by Timmy, uh, Timmy, Timmy Pritchard. Tommy Pritchard <laughs> on Jimmy Offey. Bring it into a hammerlock. Jimmy's going to go for a flying mare. He's going to try. He's, he does. Oh, oh yeah. barely made it. <laughs> now, that took a lot of effort. <laughs> a lot of strength, too. By the way, Jimmy Offey is an extremely powerful individual. Good scientific match. Yeah, you don't get uh, you don't get a body like that out of a mailer or a catalog. That, oh, guy, no. that guy's got a pack some pretty good power. Plus, he didn't get those arms answering telephones either. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. Fireman's carry by Tommy Pritchard. Head scissors, kick out. Beautiful. Both wrestlers watching each other very closely, cautiously. Both possess a lot of moves. Lock up, side headlock by Jimmy Offey, applying the pressure now. Now Tommy's going to try to muscle out of it. A little test of strength. He's doing all right. Will he muscle his way all the way? Remember, Jimmy, very powerful. Not taking anything away from Tommy Pritchard. Now Tommy's a pretty strong dude himself. And Jimmy prevails. Got that side headlock clamped on pretty strong. And now Tommy's going to give it another try. I don't know if Tony Bourne's going to be here next Saturday night. I don't even know at this time if Matt Bourne's going to get his wish and uh, get Rip Oliver next Saturday night. But I know that 
He says he's not through with Oliver. Oh, I'm a sure. Way. I'm sure this whole thing isn't through yet. Hey, by no stretch of the imagination. Uh, these two uh, have gone at it in the recent weeks, and uh, I'll guarantee you it's not over. There's so much unleft business. Look at this beautiful wrestling bridge by Tommy Pritchard. Takes a lot of effort for a move like that. Well, he makes it look so easy, but I know that's not easy. No, no way not. that can be easy. Try it, folks. Try it in your living room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. What an effort. Yeah. And the great news, Don, that makes me proud. I can hardly wait. It'd be good to see Hacksaw Sawyer back and Rowdy Roddy Piper. Oh, boy, boy that, oh, boy. Isn't that great? I smell Mark. excitement in the air. Mm. Well, you're going to see it in the air come <laughs> March 17th or so. March 17th. Rowdy Roddy Piper and Hacksaw Sawyer. Fireman's carry by Tommy Pritchard. Oh, that's a legal snap. move. That was a legal move. That's Don a snap, Owen. Wasn't it? Right. Don Owen, by the way, went through great expense and effort to sign these two. Both wrestlers extremely in demand. Uh, Hacksaw Sawyer, he's been seen on uh, national television from Atlanta. Uh, very much in demand and hard to get bookings on him. And uh, Don Owen made the trip himself and uh, signed him up, as well as Roddy Piper, who is also in tremendous demand all over the world, for that matter. And it's quite an accomplishment for Don Owen. Once again, Don Owen comes through for the fans. Oh, you're not kidding me. Well, that's why Don hasn't been here the past couple of three weeks. He's been that's back right. east to uh, getting that's that right. thing uh, taken care of. You know, at home here, Buddy Rose, and in fact, Don was telling us this in the uh, office back here. Buddy Rose is... Uh, oh, 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 oh. What a move that was by Tommy Pritchard. Caught Jimmy Offie on the side of the head Whoa. with the foot. A legal move, nothing illegal about it. Stunned Jimmy Offie. And Jimmy can feel the effects of it right now. And now a reverse headlock by Tommy Pritchard. Well, the feet, of his feet, that's, that's uh, really something else, Tommy Pritchard. Buddy Rose really wants the assassin in the worst way. And uh, the worst way I would imagine the assassin could think of is with his mask off, and that's how Buddy wants it. Right. And he well, figures that uh, some of these things that he picked up while he was over in Japan, through those, these techniques, that he uh, he figures he can get that mask off of him if he can just get him in the ring. This is what he wants now. Well, Buddy was telling me, he says, Stan, I know I can whip him. And he says, and when I do, I'm going to take the $2,500 and throw it to all the fans. Yeah. Very yeah. generous of Buddy. That could uh, very easily happen next Saturday night, uh, Stan. Yeah, if, if they can get that put in. We'll know uh, anyway. later. Oh, a beautiful leg trip and a headlock, but Jimmy Offie uh, reverses it right into a hammerlock. Beautiful piece of wrestling on the part of both wrestlers. I bet that is. How refreshing it is to see a clean scientific wrestling match. Yeah, you almost forget what they're really like. That's you know, right. when you see some of this other stuff. Good moves, fast moves, powerful moves by these two men. Jimmy Offie applying the pressure on that hammerlock now. Notice how Tommy Pritchard's keeping his shoulder close to the mat to avoid further pressure. That's for that's pure protection. That's purely protecting yourself. You can only go so far. I want to give our director Larry Neat a chance to. Uh, to get the Barry Owen phone number uh, <laughs> lined up on the screen. If you have a club or a church, a group, organization of some kind that you'd like to raise money for, here is a great way to do exactly that. See that name right there, Barry Owen? That's the man to call. He'll tell you how to book professional wrestling into your area to raise money for a charitable event. Just give that number a call, area code 503-484-0840, and Barry will take care of that for you. Give you all the information. It's a great way to raise the money, and boy, it works every time. It sure does. Wrestling has proven itself over and over again. In the meantime, Jimmy Offie keeps uh, holding on to that hammerlock, and Tommy Pritchard seems to be, uh, oh, and he elbows Jimmy Offie right in the forehead, too. Tackle. Like something's got to give. Oh, a beautiful arm drag by Jimmy Offie. Takes the young man from Houston down to the mat. 
He has got Tommy Pritchard under control. Some beautiful moves on the part of, part of both gladiators. Jimmy Offey takes him over now into a head scissors. Oh, that was a good move. That was a Offey. That, by the way, reminds me of my years in wrestling, wrestling the great legendary Luthez. That was one of his favorite moves. Was it? Yes. What's that called? You know, I don't know it's myself. Called, I'll tell you. All I know is it's uncomfortable. It's called a good move. It's called That's a good it, move. Yeah. That's the Luthez good move. You're learning, Don. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> If this were on a point system, I, I'd hate to say who was ahead. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful move by Jimmy Offie. He's got Tommy Pritchard. Nip up by Tommy. Confused. Tommy going for a chop. I think there's uh, the tempers are flaring a little bit. Yeah, I think so. No matter how clean or how scientific the wrestlers are, they're bound to lose oh. their temper at one time or another. What a drop kick that was. Uh, Jimmy wasn't ready for that drop kick coming off the rope. The flying mare by Tommy Pritchard. Oh, and he drops the heel right to the chest of Jimmy Offey, and he goes for the pin. Jimmy kicks out, and now Tommy is going to go for whatever. Here it comes. Arm whip into the ropes. Goes for a back oh. body drop by Jimmy <laughs> Offey. Caught under that, and suplex. Oh, a hard suplex that Tommy Pritchard feels we could have a fall here. Tommy was waiting for him to come off those ropes, and uh, Jimmy uh, didn't come off that way. Oh, monkey, monkey flip by Jimmy Offey. Oh, it's Jimmy's good. using a lot of a uh, lot of tech, lot of holes there. Jimmy Offey is oh, a cradle by Tommy Pritchard gets the shoulders down. Oh, almost had it. Almost had it. For a while, both their shoulders were down. Sandy didn't know yeah. which ones to count. <laughs> An abdominal stretch by Tommy Pritchard now. A submission hold. This could be it. Takes him over. We could have a pin. Well, Jimmy running, muscles out of that. We're running out of time to here too. So these guys are going to have to get right with it to get a win. Oh, and Tommy's going for a backslide. Oh. I don't think he's got Jimmy. No, Jimmy went all the way over. Yeah, he didn't get the shoulders down. A uh, hugo slap in the bread basket. You look, like you, had, you look like you had a rubber neck. <laughs> Should we call him rubber neck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this match, ladies and gentlemen, is a draw. And what a nice, clean, scientific match this was. Listen to the crowd. And they love every minute of it. Great match. It ended with a mule kick by Tommy Pritchard and a draw. Tommy Pritchard and Jimmy Offey battling to a draw. Good match. We'll be right back with a special interview right after this. They would do it. Love them or hate them, they did. They've got all the belts now. So I suppose, Oliver, you're very proud of yourself. Very proud today, Jack. Very proud. I said we was going to get all the belts back in the clan. Well, I got every one of them back in the clan. Something happened this past Tuesday night. I had Matt Bourne beat right in the middle of the ring out there, and Kurt Henning come off the top rope and drop kick me. Well, Kurt Henning, you're going to pay for that, boy. And Matt Bourne, I'm not through with you either. Now we got some other things. Rose is wanting assassin. Everybody's wanting part of the clan because the clan's got everything that any top professional wrestler could want. They got all the belts. They've got everything, all the prestige. Everybody wants prestige. Well, assassin, tell them just what we got, baby. Rip Oliver's clan is number one in the Pacific Northwest. Now, for the last three weeks, the only thing I've heard out of Playboy Buddy Rose's mouth is I want a mask versus mask match with the assassin. Well, Buddy Rose, I've given you a mask versus mask match before, and you never defeated me then. What do you got to offer, Buddy Rose? Well, let, let, wait a minute. Let me remind you. I got $2,500 you. of my money. I got $2,500 of my money on the line to any professional wrestler that can take my mask off, Buddy Rose. What do you got to offer? I've given you these chances. Oh, there he is. No fighting. No. People, I got Don Holmes right here by me. You say I got nothing to put on the line. Everybody wants you to lose the mask. You got a $2,500 bounty. You said, I'm not going to do it with Rose because he's got nothing to put on the line. 
Well, let me tell you something. Don Owens and I have been standing back there, and for the last three weeks, we've been figuring out a way to try to get you to accept this match. So in front of everybody on television and right here, Don Owens and I have put a check together. You can look at it for $2,500. I'll match your $2,500 to my $2,500. You can take it right now. Look at it. It's the same way you get paid every Saturday. It's, it's Don Owens' check, and it's good. And what I'm trying to say, Assassin, will you accept a mask versus mask match with me anytime? That's what I'm trying to say. That's all I want to know. Don Owens wants to know, and the people want to know. Are you really this stupid, Buddy Rose? You actually giving me this check I'm for $2,500? I'm that stupid. Mask versus mask. That's right. I'm that stupid. You going to do it? You're dumber than us. Of course I'll do it. I've never been beat at this. Well, $2,500. I'll have $5,000, buddy, Rose. Okay. Now, now, he's accepted. Everybody listen to this. He said yes. Now, we'll make the match later on in the night. What I want to say is this. It's a yes, and you're my witness, Don Owens has the power of attorney. Listen to this, everybody, because I didn't come back here stupid from Japan. I bought this back. You bring the $5,000, you bring the whole $5,000 down to the ring. If I win the match, I will throw the $5,000 to you people. Now, hold it. I have something else to show you. When I was in Japan, you cannot wear this mask in the United States. But I got this mask in Japan from another wrestler, and Don Owens is going to allow me to wear it. I want to show it to you right now. What do we have here? This mask, this was Black Tiger's mask. Black Tiger in Japan. It's got ears. I look like a tiger. I'm going to come in that ring like a tiger, and I'm going to eat you up now. What more what kind of deal is this? What kind of deal is this, buddy? Oh, what's in those ears? There could be anything in those ears. There's one more thing. When we get in the ring in my eight years here, ladies and gentlemen, Don Owens has agreed on something else. I don't mean to interrupt Don and everybody, but I can't wait to tell you this. There will be no television. That's one thing, because I knew you wouldn't do it if it'd be on TV. And the other thing is this. We're, you can't get pinned, you can't give up. The only way you can lose is lose your mask. There will be no referee. No referee. And Mr. Owen, the match is made. We'll uh, make an announcement on that a little later. Right. All right. One more thing. I want to make sure everything's in my favor. If he interferes, Don Owen said, you automatically have to take off the mask and give me the money. If anybody interferes on my side, the same thing for me. So it's going to... No, he said he doesn't want the check. Will you tell him the match is made, please? Well, we're going to make the match, whether you like it or not. Oh, it's too late. Don Owens, what are you doing? You people, I've been tricked. You tricked me, Don Owens. Oh, you low-down promoter. Oh, you both tricked me. I don't want to lose my mask. I don't want these people to get my money. I've been tricked. Well, it looks to me, Assassin, that you're a little bit worried about it. Looks this, like you're worried about it. This is going too far, Stajak. Well, haven't you gone a little bit too far? I have not gone too far. The Assassin hasn't gone too far. They come up here and offer a match, $2,500 to accept the match. They didn't say all this other stuff, all these other stipulations. That didn't have nothing to do with it. They said mask versus mask. Have you ever heard of a bottom line? You know what the bottom line was? When he said, yes, I will accept, I'm the witness, Don Owen's a witness, all these people are a witness, no. and it's too late and too bad for you. This is not right. Buddy Rose, Don Owen, this is not right. I don't want to lose my mask, and I don't want you people getting my money. Now I am upset and worried. He is upset and worried, and he's got a lot of reason to be. Well, he's had a lot of them before, and he's never lost one yet, Stasiak. So I'm not, I got a lot of confidence in the assassin myself, so I'm not really worried about Buddy Rose. That's $2,500. You just want to flush it down the commode because the assassin's going to beat you, and I, he don't need my help. Don Owens, you threw the stipulations in, and I couldn't be there. Well, okay. I won't interfere. Assassin, it's all on you, brother, and I know you can take care of the job. Well, you heard it. The match has been made, and that'll be here Saturday night, a week from tonight. Back to back. Okay, bring your masking tape. We'll be right back with our main event right after this. When you get uh, the promoter, Don Owen, up here, 
And boy, oh boy, that's going to be something else. The idea is the assassin who is already masked. Uh, the idea is Buddy Rose will be wearing a mask. And uh, the wrestler that that uh, takes the other wrestler's mask off will be the winner. And the full $5,000. $25. Each wrestler has put up $25. Yeah. $2,500. $2, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. so excited about it. That <laughs> I'm getting a little... Uh, La 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 la. <laughs> Boy, that's uh, and Kurt Henning is in the ring now, awaiting for Rip Oliver. Now mm -hmm. Rose, if Rose wins, he says he's going to throw the money to the uh, to the people. To the people. Can we get down there? Well, I'll go down there and cover let, that. Let's get somebody to. What do you mean you'll get? Yeah, I'll be <laughs> down there. <laughs> Boy, what a match that will be. Oh, that's going to be something Next else. Saturday Next Saturday night. night. Here's Don Owen to announce this match. Ladies and gentlemen. The next event be the best two out of three falls are to a TV time limit for the Northwest Heavyweight Championship. Introducing in this corner at the defending title holder, 244 pounds, Rip Oliver. His opponent in this corner, 237 pounds from Minneapolis, Kurt Henning. A very popular Kurt Henning, and he gets his big chance to try to regain his belt that he wore so proudly for so long. Rip the Crippler Oliver, the champion. Love him or hate him. The man is tough. The man is good. The man is rough. The man, and the is, man ready. is dangerous. Yeah, you know, this is another surprise. I forgot that this was going to be the belt thing tonight. That's correct. That is. It's a title I'm match. I'm having a good time tonight. <laughs> This is great. The belt is on the line. Kurt Hennig, who once held the belt, going against uh, Rip Oliver, the current holder of the champion, the uh, heavyweight championship belt. You know, Don, in a match like this, a championship match can change the whole complex of a feud or whatever's been going on. Uh, you know, you might expect to see a, fl a slugfest tonight, which could very well happen. With Rip Oliver in the ring, you don't know what could happen. However, I will make a little bit of a prediction. I feel that this will be a good wrestling match. I really do. It's two out of three falls, and whoever wins that ever so important first fall will have the better chance. So we'll see. We're just underway that, now. It's just that you never know. You never know what's going to be happening when you got somebody like Rip Oliver in there. You notice Sandy Barr was checking his thumb, and he was acting like, ow, boy, that really hurts. And you know, you know how I use it, that thumb. That thumb is a weapon. It is. It is that. Side headlock by Rip Oliver. Takeover by Rip Oliver. Two out of three falls. Boy, I can't get over that thing. Next Saturday night, no referee for that match. No referee. Match. And no interference on the part of Oliver or anybody. Because if there is interference, automatically, yeah. the assassin loses the match and loses his mask. And 2,500 big ones. Well, that uh, gives new meaning to the words losing face. <laughs> <laughs> Very well put. Because it looks like somebody definitely will next Saturday night. Oliver, uh, side headlock. You know, despite of his aggressiveness and his unorthodox ways, Oliver is one tremendous wrestler. Very powerful. Well, he is, and uh, that's what makes it so frustrating sometimes when he resorts to some of these other... Oh, and wow. hoop slam by Beautiful. Kurt Henning. Arm drag by Kurt Henning. Oh, and the fans love it. Kurt Henning takes over on Rip Oliver. This is more than just a main event match. There's a lot of animosity that runs very deep between these two men. And it goes back a long way. Oh, no love, no love lost between these two, Don. Uh-uh. Kurt Henning sustaining a couple of injuries at the hands of uh, Rip Oliver. His shoulder, his knee, I think. I mean, you know, we can go on and well, on and on. Mental anguish, you know, that right. Rip has done to get against right. Kurt about his dad. Right. A lot of harsh words and bad feelings. 
and a lot at stake here tonight. Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Championship match. Kurt has been waiting for this a long time. I, this is the first time that I can remember uh, Oliver putting that belt on the line since he won it. That's for been quite a while, that's right. Yeah. Standing arm bar now. Kurt Hennig on Rip Oliver. Rip trying to figure out a way to get out of that, and he does. Oh, oh no, he didn't. Oh, Kurt just held on. <laughs> and I'm sure that surprised Oliver. You Hennig acted like he was glued to him there. You can see him complaining to the referee bar. Kurt Henning with an arm bar on Rip the Crippler Oliver, the champion. Kurt Henning, the challenger. Sandy Barr watching closely. I want to thank our crew up here for doing a great job getting those good camera angles under the good directorship tonight of Larry Neat. Everything is always neat with Larry Neat. You bet. In fact, the entire crew tonight comes from Hertz Run Again. Did you know that? <laughs> Kurt <laughs> Henning now continues to hold on to that arm bar. Kurt Henning, a fine wrestler, fine athlete, well conditioned. No, oh, you can see how white Oliver's arm is uh, around that elbow. Oliver, right now. Trying to figure a way, uh, a way out of this hole. You never know what he's going to do next. Oh, he's going to go for a body slam. He does. And, oh, oh, this oh. is an elbow. Bang, Ooh. that elbow hard in the mat. And Kurt Henning takes him over with an arm drag and stretches that arm. Henning working on that left arm of uh, Rip Oliver's, trying to weaken it, create a weak spot. Going after it, not letting up. Really using a tremendous amount of pressure on that arm bar. He's got that locked into a figure four. <laughs> Bird Henning pulling away at that arm. Five minutes have elapsed. This is a two out of three falls. And it's so important to look win that got, first, first look ball. Guy, look how he's got that arm bent back at the elbow. Oh, yeah. Using his knee as leverage. And then he's got, of course, he's bending the wrist and fingers back. And what a helpless situation that is. Right back into the arm bar. Kurt Henning in control right now. What a grind these athletes have to go through. Crowd getting behind uh, Kurt. Every once in a while chanting, we want Kurt. Good now crowd Oliver there. with the tights. Pulling the hair now. Oh, uh -huh. misses a haymaker. Of Kurt Henning back into the arm drag. And the fans just love it. Henning is... Uh, using his speed to a great advantage tonight boy that he, he that was fast Dan. well kurt, oliver took a shot at him and all of a sudden he wasn't there kurt is very very fast well as i predicted we are seeing a, a good wrestling match and not a slugfest of course don't forget kurt henning has control and he knows you can't let oliver loose you can't give him swinging room. You can't give him kicking room. Because that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to hurt you. He's oh. out to hurt you. So you have to wrestle him. Keep him close to the mat. Keep him under control. And Kurt has done a fine job so far. And you can't give him gouging room either. And he'll gouge if he can. Especially with that thumb. You see that thumb bandage. Any member of the clan are very, very hard individuals to wrestle. They're so unorthodox. They know all the tricks of the trade. And they're tough. Rip Oliver threatening. 
And Kurt continues to apply the pressure on that left arm of Rip Oliver. Wrestling a very, very smart match tonight. Kurt heading in. He's keeping Oliver under control. There comes the knee now. Yeah. Oh, and Kurt dugs the tackle and arm drags Rip Oliver. Beautiful move. Right back where we started from. You think that wasn't heads up? Oh, oh boy. I better believe that was heads up. Kurt Henning res wrestling very intelligently tonight. Using his strength, using his speed. And completely uh, in command, in total command of this yes, match so far. But let's not underestimate Rip Oliver. He is oh, Kurt now the kneeling arm bar again on Rip Oliver. Now rubbing that his own wristband into the armpit there. That and must nothing, burn a little bit. Nothing illegal about that either. Nothing illegal about the old armpit burn, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's smart. Yeah, look how he's used his forcing. Oh yeah, he's a play. He's got good leverage. He's applying a lot of pressure. Oliver, Oliver is going to have to do something. He's trying to get to the right to, to the ropes to force a break. Uh, if he uh, continues to take that abuse on his arm, there comes oh, the there's thumb. A thumb. There's a the thumb. Sandy Barr questioning Rip Oliver now. And look at Kurt Henning. Oh he can, yeah. You know, done. This Oliver can drive. He's got he's got like stubby fingers, thick fingers, and he's a very powerful man. And he tapes that thing. It's like a like a stick, like a solid stick. And boy, when he hits you in the ribs, you feel it. There's a hard kick to the stomach. Uh, Oliver he's just favoring he's, that arm. Yeah, he's trying to shake some feeling back in that arm. Kicks Kurt Henning again, and Kurt is in trouble now. Oh, that thumb really took it right out of him. That started it. Like I said, you never take Rip Oliver for granted, no matter what. Uh-oh. Oh, on dive. close, Kurt, out of the ring. Whoa. He lands on his feet, but hard onto the concrete floor. Oh, he did land hard, too. And Kurt is shaken up. He's going to take his time. He's got till 20. That wasn't but just a few seconds ago when Kurt was in total command of this match. Oh, now yeah. he's in a lot of pain. Oh, slings him over that top rope. And kicks Kurt Henning right out of the ring again. Sandy Barr warning Rip Oliver. Kurt Henning once again will take his time. He's slow in getting up. He's taking some good shots. But we've seen Kurt before, very well known to come back. Very courageous young man and Rip Oliver now. Oh, a hard oh, right. Man. Oh, just slams that fist to the chest. And Kurt Henning is on the floor again. Oliver he, knows he's got a count of five before he's disqualified on any kind of a hold like that. Or any kind of uh, maneuvering like that. Sandoval starts the count. Kurt's got till 20. He's hurting. Well, he's just trying and to get Oliver back in. Do it. Oh, and he's flying yeah. there. Over the top rope, onto the concrete floor goes Oliver. What a surprise move that was on the part of Kurt Henning. <laughs> wow. And then look on Oliver's face if you can see that. That caught him by total surprise. And now Kurt Henning, a hard right that knocks the man from Florida onto the ring apron. Well, Henning hurt his hand with that shot. And oh, now Henning Kurt Henning. It. And down goes Oliver once again. The turning of the table. And oh, there comes that thumb. thumb again. Everybody saw it. Sandy Barr could not see it. And listen to the fans. He drove that thumb oh, right to Kurt Henning's throat. Yeah. And Kurt is in pain once again. Uh, he's hurting now. And now he rams. Oh, he oh, goes no. for that. And he rams Oliver's head into the turnbuckle. Kurt Henning. Henning, he's got to be in immense pain, and yet he's still able to do this kind of damage on Rip Oliver. Look at that. And he's going to sling him into the turnbuckle. He does. Yeah. 
Oh, Oliver moves out of the way and hurt. Did he hit that steel post? I don't know. He wrapped himself up in that. Uh, and there's a the shoulder box. breaker. The infamous shoulder oh, breaker. That's it. And we have a fall, I'm sure. Yeah, that's got to be it. Yes. 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 There's your winner of the first fall, Rip the Crippler Oliver, with his heat champion. With the Rip Oliver patented shoulder breaker. And to the disapproval of the fans, however, he does prevail, and he is the winner of the first fall. We'll be back with our second fall of our main event after this timeout. Hello, Tom. ...of the very infamous clan, and to my left, the man you just saw in the ring, Rip the Crippler Oliver. Stacey, I got one thing to say, and I'm going to say it and get through with it. I'm going to take Matt Bourne, and I'm going to cripple him up. I don't care if it's in Pineville, Forest Grove tomorrow night, down to Klamath Falls. I've been down there a lot of times. I haven't lost too many matches down there, Bourne. <laughs> Thursday night in Salem, Friday night in Coos Bay. Wednesday I Metro. Care. I don't care where it's at. I'm going to get you where I'm wrestling you or anybody else is wrestling you. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to get you for what you did Tuesday night. I've got one more fall with Kurt Henning and that'll be all of that. Tell him, son. Well, Assassin, you still worried? I'm all tricked. Buddy Rose and that skinny geek neck pencil, pencil neck promoter down on and tricked me. Buddy Rose, you got what you wanted. Mass versus mass, right? First time ever, Buddy Rose. No referee, Buddy Rose, in that ring. I never had a match like that with no referee. I know, Buddy Rose, there's something in those ears, brother. I know you got lead in those ears or something, and that's how you're going to yank this match. There can't be a winner. There can't be a loser. It goes until one man is unmasked. That's next Saturday night. It won't be shown on TV, Buddy Rose, so nobody out there is going to get to see it. So this is what I got to say. You people in the Pacific Northwest, I don't never want you to see my face. I'm sorry. So that. if I lose this match, All the time we got you will time. not see me here again. You heard it from the class. And we'll be right back right after this timeout. Wow. Current belt holder Rip Oliver over Kurt Hennig with the shoulder breaker. And now, uh, Kurt, of course, uh, it's an upward, uh, uphill climb, you know. Uh, I've stressed over the weeks uh, how important that first fall is. But Kurt can rise to the occasion. We've seen him before. I want to briefly mention about next Saturday night, what a match between Buddy Rose and the Assassin that's going to be. Boy, I'm, I can, I'm anxious to see that. Yeah, that's going to... Buddy Rose with a new mask on. I think <laughs> the Assassin Possibly worried. the Assassin without a mask on. That's the, right. Uh, maybe. Could very well be. Well, Oliver picking up where he left off. No. Oh, he yeah. rams that knee to that wounded shoulder of Kurt Henning, and he's going to punish him now. Uh, he's going to work on Henning's left arm the way Henning is working on his. You see where he's using his knee for leverage, bending that arm back. Oliver knows that that ah. shoulder is hurt, and he's going to capitalize. Kurt Henning right now I would have to stay in a lot of trouble, and he's going to have to snap out of it if he's going to do anything, because being down one fall, the TV time limit, uh, you know, he's going to really have to do something, Don, because that shoulder is hurt, and uh, he can't take too much more punishment on it, because well, you can only take so much. Yeah, everything's going for uh, Oliver now, because Oliver, uh, even if uh, there was a disqualification, Oliver would still keep the belt. That's right. Oliver now with a stand, oh, bringing the right elbow down on the back of Kurt Hennig. Still working on that arm, the left arm. Extending it. Applying that pressure. You can see uh, the look on Hennig's face. He is in a whole lot of pain. Oh, look at that. And Oliver knows it. Look at the pressure he's applying. Oh, yeah. Just tugging away. And Kurt, very wisely, keeps his shoulder close to the mat. Kurt Henning now in a position that he should not be. He knows he's in trouble. You can bet your life he's thinking. But sometimes it's hard to concentrate when you're in pain. Now, he's got to get out of that thing. And you can see uh, Oliver's got that left arm now into a hammerlock back there. 
Now Kurt. Oh. Hey, and he maneuvers out of that. Beautiful move. That was a beautiful move by Kurt. Pull, but Sammy Barr caught that, and he's going to break the hole. And now Oliver continues to assault Kurt Henning. Goes after that arm again like a hungry animal. Now that took a lot of intense desire from Kurt Hennig to, to uh, make a move like that to get out of the predicament that he was in. Of course, you know he wants this belt so badly. You know, that, he, he feels it rightfully because it belongs to him. Well, Don, there's nothing more, more prestigious than being a champion, whether it's regional, uh, state champion, uh, especially world champion, but to be a champion is, is a nice feeling. Not only for your pocketbook, but for your head, too. Your confidence. Well, Stan, you are one man that can certainly speak from experience on all counts, being a former world champion yourself. So I'm sure you, you know, obviously, exactly what it feels like to be a, a real champion. Oh, and Oliver went for the shoulder breaker, but Kurt went right over, and he rolls him up. And he he the pin. Oh. Oliver just barely kicks out of that one. We don't see too many people kicking out of that. That's a Kurt, right hand by Hennig. Kurt came out of nowhere. No, over the top of Oliver onto the floor. Oh, what a spill he took. Well, you can see him laying out there. Yeah, he's uh, laying on the small of his back. Oh, what a spill he took over that top rope. And what a move by Kurt Henning. Well, if he hadn't grabbed that top and rope, he'd be somewhere out on North Lombard. And a suplex by Kurt Henning into the ring. And Oliver is down. Kurt Henning, he's going to go on the top rope. Oh, he's going to go upstairs. What is yeah. that? He's waiting for Oliver to get up so he can drop kick him. I'll bet you that's what happens. This is he's it. He's waiting for him. This Here is he comes. It. Oh, that's a drop kick. Uh, oh, yes. We do have a fall, I'm sure. What a drop kick that was. Oh, the yeah. top There's your winner. And this match is all tied up. Oh, what a sensational win. What a sensational call for the sensational young man from Minnesota, Kurt Henning. And he did it his way. That's beautiful. We will be back with our third and final fall right after this commercial timeout. Weekend special at... At the hands of Jules Strongbow. Jules Strongbow. What do you have to say, uh, mean Mike Miller? I'll never forget Jules Strongbow. I'll never forget him as long as I live. I've got seven screws. i got a plate in my ankle right now. I'm ready for you, Jules. I'm 120%. I've been out there already with Pretcher, with Pardee, with Henning, with all of them. But my main concern is Jules Strombo. I'm working right now. I'm ordered a new boot is coming in to make this ankle a whole lot stronger where if you ever do get a hold of it you'll never break it you'll never break it again you'll never touch my ankle again because i'm going to make sure of that there's a lot of ways i can get out of it there's a lot of ways that i've studied i've sit, i've sit at home i've watched tv i've watched my video i've watched your matches i know you like a book jules i know you like a book all i got to do if it's in the northwest if it's anywhere and on the face of this earth i'm going to find you you're going to have a broke leg you're going to be financially disabled like I was for four and a half months, laid flat on my back, and you're going to see how it feels. For sure, Stan. That's all I have to say. Okay, we heard from mean Mike Miller, and he has issued a challenge to Chief Jules Strongbow, and he wants revenge. I'm sure that the Chief will have something to say about that. We're going to go right back out to the ring right now, Stan, getting ready for our third and final fall of our championship main event we are all even at one fall apiece between kurt hennig and rip oliver oliver took the first fall with a shoulder breaker Hennig came back with a second fall with his patented leaping off the top of the ropes with his uh, flying drop kick took the wind completely out of uh, oliver of course caught him by a complete surprise too and got the three count there you can see part of the crowd out there get a good crowd tonight there, see, see, you got their signs. My grandma, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're here to have some fun, see some excitement, and that's exactly what they've been doing and seeing. And we'll have our wrestlers out here, and here comes Kurt Hennig making his way down the, the aisle to the ring. Sandy Barr, referee, getting in the ring right now. 
And I want to remind you folks that next Saturday night, what a match it's going to be. And uh, the tickets are already on sale. Get your tickets early because this place will be jam-packed and the match will not be shown on television. I've been informed of that just a moment ago. Get your tickets early. You can get them every Saturday at San Sunday at Sandy Bar's Flea Market here at the Sports Arena, 146 and start. Get them early. Don't have to wait in line. Look at Oliver. He's still uh, he's still trying to get his body back in shape, shaking his head, holding his. Oh, and I've heard he's going to take the battle to him right away, and rightfully so. Yes, Kurt wants that belt, <laughs> and he's got the move. champion in trouble right now. The whole ring move there. Wow. Kurt Henning wastes no time. Slamming Rip Oliver back into that turnbuckle. Oh, oh, yeah. Hard oh, over to the top of the head of Rip Oliver, and down goes Oliver. One, two, and Oliver kicks out. Kurt wasted no time. And he's got the advantage now. He's got to keep it up. He wants that belt. The fans want to see him win that belt. He is the former champion. And Rip Oliver looks like Rip Oliver is going out. Oh. If that arm drops the third time, this match is history, and Kurt will be the heavyweight champion of the Pacific Northwest. Now he's, he's still alive. He's still kicking. I didn't realize Henning was applying that kind of pressure back there. He sure is. He's got that reverse headlock clamped on tight. That All of cuts off that circulation. Oliver, I'm sure, still feeling it, the effects of that tremendous drop kick that Kurt Henning threw off the top rope. Oh, he's grabbing the hair again. Oh, he grabs the rope. And force a break. Into the rope. Oh, on a close line by Kurt Henning. We could have a fall and a new champion right here, right now. Two. No, oh, just that, barely. That, that was close. As close as you can get. Heading back in complete control. Full command here. Oh, and he yanks that neck. And Oliver flat on his back again. Can Kurt Henning capitalize? Drops an elbow. And he's going to go for it again. Two. And Oliver kicks oh, out again. Oliver is in more trouble than anybody may think so right now. Yes, he is. Well, you've got to kind of wonder what, what's keeping Oliver going. Most men would have been counted out by now. He's tough, son. Very tough. Well, you know, Billy Jack always said that Oliver was the toughest man that he ever faced out here. A sheer brute strength and resiliency. Look at Oliver fighting it off. Kurt Henning in full command right now. Twist. Twisting it. Kurt Henning just heard the time. He knows time's yeah. running out. We only got and, three minutes left. And now he's going to continue. He's going to have. He's going to go for the suplex. There it is. He's got Timber. It. Down he goes. And this could be it. Oh, he's going to go now, upstairs again. He's going to go upstairs. And he's going to wait for Oliver to get up. One more. Here comes, the, here comes the assassin. Push it. This match is a disqualification. Kurt Henning loses his bid for the title. Sandy Bar has no alternative. Oh, the assassin. Oh, no, the assassin. The assassin has much Kurt Henning. Uh, a very unfortunate thing. Sandy Bar had no alternative but to disqualify the Oliver. To disqualify Oliver. And Kurt Henning is on the mat. Uh, we'll be back with a special interview right after this timeout. Time that unfortunately Kurt Henning, he won the match, but did not win the title because the title cannot change hands on a disqualification. Very unfortunate. Buddy, you have a few words to say for us. Uh, Matt, you go ahead. You got something. Matt, Matt Boyd. Okay, thank you, Stan. Stan, you know, and uh, all the people out there have seen uh, me and Oliver go at it. You've seen us uh, brawl like uh, nobody's ever brawled before. But uh, Rip Oliver, the, the war has just started. 
And uh, I, it, I don't care whether it's in Brineville, I don't care whether it's in uh, Forest Grove, I don't care whether it's in Klamath Falls, Medford. I, I know you're going to be there in every one of those towns this week, and I'm going to be there, and you better be watching over your shoulder because I'm going to leave you in a puddle of blood every time we come across. And I know, I know it looks strange to you people out there to see me and Buddy Rose standing up here together, but the world changes and uh, strange things Let happen. Let bygones be bygones. What I'm trying to say is I wish you the best of luck with Oliver. I'd ask to wrestle Oliver, but I'm not going to because there's not going to be anything left of Oliver in those towns because Matt Moore in every town I've gone to, all I've seen is Oliver flying through the air and blood flying through his head. Well, let me tell you something. Next Saturday night, let's pack this place because I'll tell you what, I'm going to put this on and I'm going to step in that ring with the assassin no television, anything goes, no referee, no outside interference, $5,000 on the line. If I could take your mask off, I'm going to throw the money to the people, and then I'm going to let everybody know exactly who the assassin is. Now, assassin, another thing, no referee. No referee, no television. It's boiled down to three months I've been asking for this match. All week long, you kick Oliver's butt, you keep making him bleed, you run him out of the Northwest, I'll run the assassin out of the Northwest. Remember one thing, I beat the dynamite kid, he had to shave his head, now I'm going to take the mask, and Matt's going to run Oliver out in his Good luck. Good luck. And you heard it, ladies and gentlemen, that's next Saturday done. Buddy Rose against the assassin. $2,500 at stake, no referee, and it'll be a sellout, won't be on television. And now back to Don. See you next week. Just make sure you're here next Saturday night. This is Don Cox along with Stan Stasiak saying so, uh, so long and thanks very much for joining us tonight in Portland Wrestling from the Portland Sports Arena. <laughs> Portland Wrestling has been brought to you by Tom Peterson's with two great stores to serve you, both at Southeast 82nd and Foster Road. And also been brought to you by the four Jim Fisher Used Car Centers. Wherever you are in Portland, there's a Jim Fisher Used Car Center near you. Stay tuned next for Star Search.